And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the San Antonio Missions and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. Starting on the mound in this one, Blake Walston. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Ready to go. Stepping in, Tim Lopes. The center field. Lopes. The pitch. That misses. And we are underway. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. On the ground is short. Tosses to first. And a quick out number one. Okay, let's check out the lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here. So not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Wander Javier, the next to hit, takes outside. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, right field. And yeah, there's two away. Batting third. The right fielder. And now the Joshua right fielder, Joshua Mears. Mears. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. Wow. That's not even close to the zone. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Oh, wow. nice play. The throw, it's there, and that's a great play. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Welcome back. And on the hill, Lake Backer. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. The 1-0. And a foul ball. Bunt attempt popped up. He makes the grab, and there's one down. And let's take a look at the lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing, otherwise you'll be really frustrated after this one.
Wilder oh. Patino in the oh, box my. now. No balls and a strike. Strike two. The wind of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Number 94 stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Out to short, Javier. Zips it to first, and that ends the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. here at the ballpark and now the first baseman Juan Fernandez Juan Fernandez Walston back to work number 29 settles underneath it pitch there's a swing and a drive that's going back back some more and it's gone he'll circle the bases and just like that they're out front it's one nothing Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Lucas Dunn digs in now. And a foul ball. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Ripped on a line. Puts the squeeze on it. One down. That is it. The designated hitter. Grant. So Little. now here's the DH. Grant Little. That's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now here is Jackson Merrill. Swing and a ball popped up, and it drops in. Boy, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And now, Albert Fabian. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot.
The 0 1. Left field. Duzanak makes the play. Rounder tags at second. And he's safe at third on a risky play as he moves up with two gone now. Next to hit, Michael Cantu. The catcher, Michael Cantu. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Dives and he can't hang on. Gets it there in time, though, and they do get the out. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the second. Now the left fielder, Camden Duzenak. The wind and the pitch. There's the strike. That's towards center. Lopes. As this one sized up. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting fifth. The first baseman. And stepping in is the speedy Nafi Castillo. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. The pitch. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. The pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Here's a one-two. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. That's a pretty that nasty good. pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Hit weakly on the ground. Fernandez oh. takes it himself. That ends the inning. Offense held a check there. We play two full. The missions on top one to nothing. And welcome back onto the third Tony. inning. And now the center fielder, the center fielder Tim Lopes. Tim Lopes. Walston back to work and a foul ball Lopes goes five feet 11 inches 28 years old and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2012 a one down and a foul ball third base side Here comes a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And the batter will be the shortstop. Wander Javier. He's 0 for 1. 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. Javier batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That clips the zone. That's strike two. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Swings and misses, struck him out. Got him out on the front foot, couldn't keep the hands back long enough, and played right into the hands of the... Joshua Mears getting ready to hit. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And the one. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three, double play, and the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. The missions out front here, one to nothing. Welcome back. We now it's the right fielder, number right 29. Roby. Backer, 27 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick. And fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a Come miss. That is strike two. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Dom Marolio now at the plate. First pitch just misses. One and oh. Next pitch has popped up. And that will end the inning. Nine straight retired here to start the game. On to inning number four. The missions lead it one to nothing. Start of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Juan Fernandez. Juan Fernandez. And a pitch. Just no, off the inside the edge. <laughs> On a line, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now the third baseman, Lucas Dunn. 0 for 1 so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. And yeah, that's outside. Nobody out. Runner at first.
Hit hard, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And the batter now, Grant Little. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. On the ground. And it stays fair. Fernandez headed for the plate. One runs in. Runner holds a third, so just one across on the play. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's the second baseman, Jackson Merrill. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. One one. Dunn, the runner at third. Little stands at second, no outs. That misses, ball one. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Duzanak calls it in, and there's one away. Now back left fielder, Albert Fabian. Here's the left fielder, Albert Fabian. Flied out his first time. That one misses, and that is ball one. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. To the right side, Cintron fires over to first. Now two away as they get a run across. The batter, the catcher, Michael Cantu. Here's the catcher, Michael Cantu. First time up, he grounded to third. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And ball one. One ball, no strike. Two outs, and one in scoring position. He swings and fouls one off. And a 1-1. One -one. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Kicks and deals. And a base hit into right. Runner from third comes across, and it's 4-0. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Tim Lopes, the next to hit, one for two. Line drive, and that's down, a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Shortstop. Wander Javier. So digging in, Wander Javier. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That's in there. Going to one.
first and second two down swing and a miss and that is that they strike for three runs on five hits no errors and a couple left on to the bottom of inning number four now the missions have the advantage four to nothing Back here at the ballpark, Way bottom of the inning. Now at the plate, Jordan Lawler. Jordan Lawler. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And out of here. A solo shot. And they inch closer. It's 4-1. one got in the jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden they're back in this ball game and now here's a speed threat outfielder Wilder Patino always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning in there and it's 0-1 Righty delivers. There's the swing and a miss. Going two now. Right side. Mears on the move to the gap. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting. Third baseman. Davidson. Now here is number 94. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And that's in for a strike. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Snap throw. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more one. fastballs in that Get location. There. Hitters, especially Good's with two that. strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, space is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Camden Duzenak. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. In the air, center field. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 4-1. You're dialed into the show.
Ready now for the fifth inning at the play. Joshua Mears. Joshua Mears. And here it comes. Out there to center. Patino settles under this one. Makes the grab one down. Now batting the first baseman. And now the first baseman, Juan Fernandez. He's already homered here in this one. In there for strike one. And now the lefty. That one missed. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. The pitch. That one catches the corner for a strike. two strikes oh. and now the count filled up three and two ground ball left side and that's just foul Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Bounce to third. On to first. And the first two set down to the top of the, the fifth. Baseman, number eight, Lucas Dunn. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Lucas Dunn. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. And that's in there for strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Number 91 up and throwing. Green warming up as well. The one Missed inside with the curb. There's the strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Next pitch is outside. one ripped brings it in with a nice running grab and that is the third out of the inning ready to go for the last half of the inning here's a speed threat Nafi Castillo He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The right-hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. 0-1-1. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes.
Right-hander kicks, deals. Line drive, base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Wolfers batting for the second time, and that's strike one. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Comes up empty okay. on the swing, 0-2 now. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And a weak ground ball to the left side. There's one. On to first. Ow, double play. Just got it there in time. That was a tough double play to turn right there. So nicely done by the defense. And with it hit so softly, I wasn't sure they'd have time to get both outs. And sometimes rushing a play like that can lead to big problems. But they executed every step perfectly. And now number 29. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. Josh Green gets the call from the pen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And now the DH, Grant Little. Little, 25 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2018. The pitch... That one finds the zone. Going one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tyler Zuber getting loose out there. At the belt and fires. Popped up. Castillo pulls it in on the run. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up now in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Fly ball center field. Makes the grab on the run. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. The left fielder. Albert Fabian. Two outs. Space is empty. Digging in. Albert Fabian. First pitch, and he just misses. That's a strike. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Two outs. That one rip, but foul. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing across here this half to the bottom of the sixth inning. The missions have the lead four to one.
it's one and one. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. The one one is fouled off. The one two. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Lopes settles under it and makes the catch. One up, one down. Now batting. The catcher. Yeah. Now the catcher Rolio. up to hit. Don Marolio. First time up was a pop out. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Now batting. Shortstop. Jordan. Now it's going to be Jordan Lawler. He's already homered in this game. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Fouled away. And the right hander deals. And a big swing and a miss. Two. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. He was all over that one. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So up next, Wildered Patino. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Curveball drops in for a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Here's the 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Lawler off of first with two away. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. We go to the top of the seventh, and here's the catcher, Michael Cantu. Michael Cantu. And he deals. There's a strike. Now one and one. One ball, one strike. Ball to strike. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. The batter. 
pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, Tim Lopes. In there, and it's 0-1. Runner at second, nobody out. Off the plate, and that's ball one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Clearly, was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And the pitch. Hard hit left side. Lawler tossed to yep, first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Now batting. Short Wander Javier will hit next. Struck out on just three pitches last time. One's in there, 0 and 1. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Flares it into the outfield. Fair ball. Cantu rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and they lead by four. Comes through with the RBI. Looped that one in there for the knock. Definitely got that pitch on the outside of the cap a little bit, but he made it work for him. And now the right fielder, Joshua Mears. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Right-handed reliever. That's hard hit on the line. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing error. Now batting the first base. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. Here's the first baseman, Juan Fernandez. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. <laughs> on the ground to third. Over to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Jeff Bain on a pitch out of the pen here. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And here is Lucas Dunn. One for three. That one the other way. He's got it. 
And that is out number three. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning stretch time. The missions on top here, six to one. Welcome back. We Set for off. the last half of the seventh. Third now the third baseman, Get number 94. Backer back to work. Slice down the right side. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. That's in there, and that is strike two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Duzanak in the box again, takes a strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Come back to the mound. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. Now batting, first baseman, Navy. And now the first baseman, Castillo. Navy Castillo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is foul back. Oh, and two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. That's out to center field. Lopes moving under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Grant Little. Grant Little. The pitch. Good eye right there. Fouled off. He was late. Ball to strike. And delivers outside. Two balls, one strike. That's the third, and that one handled. Fires to first on the run. Yeah. One up, one down. Now batting the second baseman, Jackson Merrill. And here is Jackson Merrill. And that's in there for strike one. Left-hand hitter waits. Struck him out looking. 
now batting. The left Two out, space is empty. Albert. Now the left fielder, Fabian. Albert Fabian. And it goes just foul. Next pitch downstairs. And now it's even one and one. And there's the strike. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Base knock center field. Good two strike hitting right now there, back. Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was Michael nicely Lord. done to beat the odds. Yeah, there are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that Blooper, Flare, Duck Snort, Lawn Dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that'll make you smile as a hitter just about every time. And now, Michael Cantu. That one's in there. It's 0 1. Here comes a pitch. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0 and 2. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle. And that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. One and two. On the ground, Cintron slings the first, and the inning is over. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now the DH, Garrett Wolfer. Garrett Wolfer. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. One and oh. And there's a foul ball. Here's a 1-1. Ripped on the ground a second. Sends it to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The right fielder. Roby. And And now here is number 29. In there for strike one. No ball. One strike. Right side and oh. foul ball. The 0 2. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Drops into the glove. Out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Giancarlo Cintron getting ready to hit. Cintron. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, those kind of lucky now soft that, hits will always her. make you smile. Oh. With the way defenders track down balls oh, these oh. days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. And he'll one. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. And he beats it. He's safe. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Back to the top of the lineup. Yeah, the batter now, Jordan Lawler. That pitch in for a strike. 
And it's 0 1. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And makes the grab. And that is that. No runs, a hit, two left. Ninth inning coming up. The missions with the lead, six to one. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. Here's the center fielder, Tim Lopes. Bain back to work. In the air out to center, Patino under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting, shortstop, Wander Javier. So digging in, Wander Javier. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Bain measures six feet four inches. He features a four seam fastball, a change up, a curve, a slider, and he works in a two seamer. The one one is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Mears now the box comes up empty with a swing there. That pitch in for a strike and a count is 0 and 2. Righty delivers and 1 and 2. There's a line drive to left field. Patino racing makes the catch. Three up, three down that time. One more shot coming up. Bottom of the ninth on deck. The missions out front, six to one. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now the number two hitter, Wilder Patino. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Ground ball right side, ball. and that's just foul. Field two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Ground ball base knock. I really now like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. So, man aboard. Here's the third baseman, number 94. 
If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Pitching coach making his way to the mound, all quiet in the pen. So I guess he just wants to settle him down a little bit out there. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Lake Backer won't go any further, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Righty reliever out of the pen, Moises Lugo. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Line drive, base hit. Pacino around second, headed for third. Great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Camden Duzenak digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That's in there. And the 2 Bounced up the middle. Javier to second, and that's not it. Protecting with strikes on him and putting the ball in play. That speaks to cutting down the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. Castillo. Now here is Nafi Castillo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next pitch is popped up. Lugo makes the catch, and there's one gone. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So now here's the DH. Garrett Wolford. Swings and misses. Going one. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. The pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Runners are at the corners, one away. Two. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now, now number 29. The right fielder. Roby and And that's in there for strike one. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And that'll do it. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 
And your final six to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. line score first for the victorious missions six runs on 13 hits no errors they left seven men on base for the home team two runs seven hits no errors they left five men on base time of the ball game three hours exactly thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please drive home safely